was a lad was born in Kyle, but what na deal, what na style, I do it, it's hardly worth a while to be so nice we Robin. Oh, Robin was a roving boy, a ranting, roving, ranting, roving. Robin was a roving boy, oh, ranting, roving, roving. Our monarch's hind most year but then was five and twenty days begun. Twas then a blast, oh, John, where wind blew and so in on Robin. Oh, Robin was a roving boy, a ranting, roving, ranting, roving. Robin was a roving boy, you oh, ranting, roving, robin. The gossip cake it in his loof, go she pa lives, we'll see the proof. This whaley boy will be naked, goof, I think we'll call him Robin. Oh, Robin was a roving boy, a ranting, roving, ranting, roving. Robin was a roving boy, you oh, ranting, roving, robin. Misfortune's great and small, but I a hair to be the ma. He'll be a credit till I saw we'll a be prude o' oh, Robin. Oh, Robin was a roving boy, a ranting, roving, ranting, roving. Robin was a roving boy, o' oh, ranting, roving, robin. But sure as three times three, Mac nine, I see by Elkie's score and line, this chap will dearly like your kind, so leaves me on the robin. Oh, Robin was a roving boy, a ranting, roving, ranting, roving. Robin was a roving boy, a oh, ranting, roving, robin. Good faith, go she, a doot, you'll guard the bonny lasses, lie a spar, but twenty for she may war, so blessings on ye, Robin. Oh, Robin was a roving boy, a ranting, roving, ranting, roving, Robin was a roving boy, oh, ranting, roving, Robin. There's naught but care on every hand In every hour that passes, oh What signifies the life, of oh man And twirna for the lasses, oh Green grow the rushes, oh Green grow the rushes, oh The sweetest hours that e'er I spend Are spent among the lasses, oh the worldly race may riches chase, and riches still may fly them all. And though at last they catch them fast, their heads can ne'er enjoy them all. Green grow the rushes, oh, green grow the rushes, oh. The sweetest hours that e'er I spend are spent among the lasses, oh. Give me a canny or a deal. My ends about my dearie o, and wally cares and wally men, me a get absolutely o. Green grow the rushes o, green grow the rushes o. The sweetest hours that e'er I spend are spent among the lasses o. For you say deuce, ye sneer at this, ye're not but senseless asses o. The wisest man the wall ever saw, he dearly loved the lasses, O. Green grow the rushes, O. Green grow the rushes, O. The sweetest hours that e'er I spend are spent among the lasses, O. All nature swears the lovely dears, her noblest work she classes, O. Apprentice hand she tried on man. And then she made the lasses, O. Green grow the rushes, O. Green grow the rushes, O. The sweetest hours that e'er I spend are spent among the lasses, O.
Willie Wassell dwelt on Tweed, the spot they caught at Lincoln Doddy. Willie was a Webster good, could stone a clue with anybody. He had a wife, was dour and den. Tinkler Magee was her mother. Sick a wife as Willie had I, wouldn't gi a button for her. She has a knee. She has but him. The cat has twa the very colour. Five roosty teeth for by a stump. A clapper tongue would deave a miller. A whisk and beard about her moo, her nose and chin, they threaten either. Sick a wife as well I had I, wouldna gi a button for her. She's bow hooked, she's hen shend, a limpin leg, a hand breed shorter. She's twist at recht, she's twist at left, the balance fair and elky quarter. She has a hump upon her breast, the twin of that upon her shoulder. Sick a wife as well I had, I wouldna gi a button for her. All badrons by the ingle sits, and we her loof, her face a washin. But Willie's wife is nae a trig, she dechts her grunzy wi a hooshin. Her waley nives like midden creels. Her face would fail the logan water. Sick a wife as Willie had, I wouldna gi a button for her. John Anderson, my Joe, John, I wonder what you mean to lie so long in the morning and sit so late at e'en. You'll blear I your e'en, John, and why do you so? Come sooner to your bed at e'en, John Anderson, my Joe. John Anderson, my Joe, John, when first that ye began, ye had as good a tail tree as any other man, but knew its wax and wan, John, and wrinkles to and fro, and oft requires my help in hand. John Anderson, my Joe. When we were young and yall, John, we've lain out o'er the dyke, and oh, it was a fine thing to see your hardies fake, to see your hardies fake, John, and strike the rising blow. Twas then I light your chanter pipe, John Anderson, my Joe. John Anderson, my Joe, John, you're welcome when you please. It's either in the warm bed or else I've been the clays. Day you your part a been, John, and trust to me below. I've to a gay ups for your gay doon, John Anderson, my Joe. When ye come on before, John, see that ye do your best. When I begin to hod ye, see that ye grip me fast, see that ye grip me fast, John, until that I cry, oh, your back shall crack or I do that, John Anderson, my jewel. I'm back at like a salmon, I'm braced at like a swan. My wime is like a down cod, my waist you will may span. My skin frit up to tay, John, it's like the new fan snow. And it's all for your conveniency. John Anderson, my Joe. O oh, thou that in the heavens dost dwell, for as it pleases best thy cell, sends in to heaven and ten to hell, 
Half of thy glory and no for any good or all they've dim before thee. I bless and praise thy matchless might when thousands thou hast left in night that I am here before thy sight for gifts and grace a burning and a shining light to our this place. What was I or my generation that I should get such exaltation? I who deserved most just damnation for broken laws six thousand years ere my creation through Adam's cause. When free my mother's womb I fell, though mighty plunged me in hell to gnash my gums, to weep, and wail in burning lakes where damned devils roar and yell chained to their stakes. Yet I am here, a chosen sample to show thy grace is great and ample. I'm here, a pillar of thy temple, strong as a rock, a guide, a ruler, and example to our thy flock. O Lord, thou kens what zeal I bear when drinkers drink and swearers swear and singing there and dancing here we great and sma, for I am keep it by thy fear free frae the ma. But yet, O Lord, confess I must at times I'm fashed wi fleshly lust, and sometimes too in worldly trust vile self gets in. But thou remembers we are dust, defiled we sin. O oh Lord, yes dream thou kens, we meg. Thy pardon I sincerely beg. O oh, may it ne'er be a living plague to my dishonour, and I'll never lift a lawless leg again upon her. Besides, I further mun avow we lease his lass. Three times, I trow, but Lord, that Friday I was fool when I come near her, or else thou kens, thy servant true would never steer her. Maybe thou lets this fleshly thorn buffet thy servant e'en and morn, lest he, our proud and high, should turn that he's sae gifted. If see, thy hand mun e'en be born until thou left it. Lord, bless thy chosen in this place, for here thou hast a chosen race. But God confound their stubborn face and blast their name while bring their rulers to disgrace and public shame. Lord, mine gone Hamilton's deserts. He drinks and swears and plays at cares, yet has sae money taken arts we great and sma frae God's ain priest the people's hearts he steals awa. And when we chasten him, therefore, thou kens how he bred sick a splore and set the world in a roar a laughing at us. Curse thou his basket and his store kale and potatoes. Lord, hear my earnest cry and prayer against that presbytery of air. Thy strong right hand, Lord, make it bare upon their heads. Lord, visit them and then spare for their misdeeds. O oh, Lord, my God, that glib-tongued aching, my very heart and flesh are quaking to think how I sat, sweating, shaking, and pished with dread, while Ald, we hang and lip, gid sneaking and hid his head. Lord, in thy day of vengeance, try him. Lord, visit them what did employ him, and pass not in thy mercy by them, nor hear their prayer, but for thy people's sake, destroy them and dinner spare. But Lord, remember me, and mine we mercies temporal and divine, that I for grace and gear may shine excelled by name, and that the glory shall be thine. Amen. Amen. Come, Lord, me, Lord, come, Lord, me, Lord, 
Charlie, I'll be John Ross, and never Bobby. Te bought me or te Charlie, we'll o'er the water and o'er the sea. We'll o'er the water, te Charlie. Come we'll, come woe, we'll gather and. Charlie, I love you, my Charlie's name. Though some there be a poor him, but oh, to see of neck and him and Charlie's face before him, we'll. Water and o'er the sea, we lower the water to Charlie. Come, we'll come, woe, we'll gather and go and live or die we Charlie. I swear and vow by moon and stars and sun that shines say any. If I had twenty thousand lives, I'd die as up for Charlie. We'll o'er the water and o'er the sea. We lower the water to Charlie. Come, we'll come, woe, we'll gather and go. And live or die, we Can you play me Duncan Gray? Ha ha, the governor, out of the hells and far away. Ha ha ha, the governor, Duncan come or make to wood. Beg was nice and wouldn't do, but like another puffed and blew it off. I rode the governor. Duncan, he come here again. Ha ha, the governor. I was out and Meg her lane. Ha ha ha, the governor. He kissed her butt, he kissed her Ben. He banged a thing against her wing. But oh, I now forget its name. But the how she got the governor. She took him to the cellar then. Ha ha, the governor. To see if he could do it again. Ha ha ha, the governor. He kissed her ends, he kissed her twice. And by the by, he kissed her thrice. But till a mare, the thing would rise to be how the long governor. But Duncan took her to his wife. Ha ha, the governor. To be the comfort of his life. Ha, 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 the garden oat. And now she scalds both night and day Except when Duncan's at the play And that's as seldom as he may He's weary of the garden oat. Within my bed he was laid down, and weel I wot he was worth his room, my ain dear dainty Davy. Oh, leaves me on his curly palm, bonny Davy, dainty Davy. Leaves me on his curly palm. He was my dainty. Amen. 
penny and laid him at my back. I trow he lean along a back, but turned and in a vera crack produced a dainty baby. Oh, leaves me on his curly paw, bonny Davy, dainty Davy. Leaves me on his curly paw, he was my dainty Davy. Then in the field among the peas, behind the house of oh, cherry trees, again he wanna to eat my thieves, my aim dear dainty Davy. Only Had I gold or had I land, it should be at his command. I'll ne'er forget what he put in my hand. It was a dainty Davy. Oh, leaves me on his curly paw, bonny Davy, dainty Davy. Leaves me on his curly. He was my dainty Davy. Is there for honest poverty that hangs his head and other? The coward slave we pass him by, we dare be poor for other, for other and other, poor toils obscure and other. The rank is but the guinea stand, the man's the gold for other. What though on him we fear we dine, we're hot and grey and other. Ye fools their selves and make their wine A man's a man for other For other and other Their tin so show and other The honest man though else say poor Is king of men for other You see yon Berkey had a lord Was trots and stairs and other Two hundred to worship at his wall, he's but a coup for Abbot. For Abbot and Abbot, his ribbon star and Abbot. The man who independent mind, he looks and laughs at Abbot. A prince can mark a belted knight, a mark with you can love up. But an honest man's a been his might, good faith he mon a father. For other and other, their dignities and other, the pith of sense and pride of what are higher rank than other. Then let us pray that come it may, as come it will for other. That sense and walk for the earth shall bear the grey and other. For other and other, it's coming yet for other. That man to man, the world o'er, shall brothers be for other. When Chapman Billies leave the street and druthy neighbours neighbours meet, as market days are wearing late and folk begin to tack the gate, while we sit boozing at the nappy and getting foo and unca happy, we think nay on the long Scots miles, the mosses, waters, 
slops and styles that lie between us and we're home, where sits our sulky, sullen dame, gathering her brows like gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth found honest Tam O'Shanter as he for air a night did canter. I'll bear that ne'er a town surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses. O oh, Tam, hadst thou but been so wise as teen thy ain wife Kate's advice, she taught thee weel thou was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken blellum, that frae November till October a market day thou was na sober, that Elka melder with a miller thou sat as long as thou had cellar, that every nag was cad a shoe on the smith and thee got roar and foo on, that at the Lord's house even on Sunday thou drank wee curtain jean till Monday. She prophesied that late or soon thou would be found deep drowned in dune, or catched wee warlocks in the murk by Alloway's old haunted kirk. Ah, gentle dames, it gars me greet to think how many counsels sweet, how many lengthened Sage advices the husband from the wife despises. But to her tale. A mark at night, Tam had got planted on her right fast by an ingle, bleezing finely were reaming swats that drank divinely. And at his elbow, suitor Johnny, his ancient, trusty, druthy crony. Tam lewed him like a very brither they had been foo for weeks together. The nicht drave on with songs and clatter, and aye the ale was growing better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious wee favours, secret, sweet and precious. The suitor told his queerest stories. The landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm without might rear and rustle. Tam didna mind the storm a whistle. Care mad to see a man so happy, he drowned himself among the nappy. As bees flee him, we laid a treasure, the minutes winged their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious, or are the elves a life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread, do you seize the flower, its bloom is shed. Or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white then melts forever. Or like the Borealis race that flit ere you can point their place. Or like the rainbow's lovely form, a vanishing amid the storm. Nay man can tether time or tide. The hour approaches, Tam mun ride. That hour, o oh, night's black arts the key stain that dreary hour, he mounts his beast in, and sick a night, he tacks the road in, as ne'er poor sinner was abroad in. The wind blew as twad blan its last. The rattling showers rose on the blast, the speedy gleams, the darkness swallowed, loud, deep, and long the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand the deal had business on his hand. Wheel mounted on his grey mare Meg, a better never left at leg, Tam scalp it on through Dubbin Mayor, despising wind and rain and fire, whiles hudden fast his good blue bonnet, whiles crooning o'er some old Scots sonnet, whiles glowering round, we prudent cares lest bogles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and howlets nightly cry. By this time he was crossed the ford where in the sna the chapmen spoored, and past the birks and mickle stain where drunken Charlie brack his neck bane, and through the whins and by the cairn where hunters found the murdered bairn. And near the thorn, aboon the well far Mungo's mither hanged herself. Before him, Doon pours all his floods. The Dublin storm roars through the woods, the lightnings flash frae pole to pole, near and more near the thunders roll, when, glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Alloway seemed in a bleeze. Through Elka Bore the beams were glancing, and loud resounded mirth and dancing. 
Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou canst make us scorn. We tippany, we fear no evil. We usgrava, we'll face the devil. The swat say reamed in Tommy's noddle fair play, he carved na deals a bottle. But Maggie stood right sair astonished, till, by the heel and hand admonished, she ventured forward on the light, and vow, Tom saw an uncasite. Warlocks and witches in a dance. Nae cotillion brent new for France, but hornpipes, jigs, strats, pays, and reels put life and metal in their heels. A winnock bunker in the east, there sat all neck in shape a beast. A towsy tyke, black, grim and large, to give them music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and got them skirl till roof and rafters a did derl. Coffins stood round like open presses that showed the dead in their last dresses. And by some devilish cantrip slight, each in its carled hand held a light, by which heroic Tom was able to note upon the haley table a murderer's banes in gibbet ends, twa span lang we unchristened bairns. A thief, new cut at fair rape, we his last gasp his gab did gape. Five tomahawks, we bleed reed rusted, Five scimitars we murder crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, whom his ain son or life bereft, the grey hairs yet stuck to the heft. We mare of horrible and offer which ain't to name would be unlawful. As Tammy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious, the piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew, they reeled, they set, they crossed, they click it till Elka Carl and swat and reek it, and coost her duddies to the work and link it at it in her sark. Now, Tom, oh, Tom, had they been queens all plump and strapping in their teens, their sarks, instead of creasy flannin, being snar white seventeen hunter linen. That breaks a mine, my only pair that eens were plush, a good blue hair, I would again them aft my hurdies for a blink of the bonny birdies. But withered beldams, all been drawled, rig woody hags would spee in a fall, lopin' and flinging on a crummock, I wonder didn't it turn thy stomach. But Tom Kentwit was what fu brawly. There was a winsome wench in Wally that night, enlisted in the corps, long after kenned on Carrick shore, for mony a beast to deed she shot, and perished mony a bonny boat, and shook baith mickle corn and beer, and held the countryside in fear. Her cutty sark, o Paisley Harn, that while a lassie she had worn in longitude, though sorely scanty, it was her best, and she was vanty. Ah, little ken thy reverend granny, that sark she coughed for her wee nanny, we twa pun Scots, twas a her riches, would ever graced a dance of witches. But here my muse her wing mun coo, a sick flights are far beyond her power. To sing how nanny lap and flang, a supple jade she was and strong, and how Tom stood like ain bewitched and thought his very een and wretched. Even Satan glowered and fedged foo fain and hotched and blew wi might and main, till fast a caper, sign another, Tom tint his reason a the gither and roars out, Well done, cutty sack! And in an instant, all was dark. And scarcely had he muggy rallied, when out the hellish legion sallied. As bees biz out wi angry fike, when plundering herds assail their bike, as open pussy's mortal foes, when pop she starts afore their nose, as eager runs the market crowd, when catch the thief resounds aloud, so Maggie runs, the witches follow, we mony an eldritch screech and hollow, ah, Tam, ah, Tam, thou'll get thy fearin, in hell they'll roast thee like a heron, in vain thy Kate awaits thy coming, Kate soon will be a woe for woman. Now do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the key stain of the brig. There at them thou thy tail may toss, a running stream they dare na cross. But ere the key stain she could make, the fainter tail she had to shake. For Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tam with furious ettle. But little wist she Maggie's metal, a spring brought off her maester hail, but left behind her ain grey tail.
The Carlin caught her by the rump and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. Now, while this tale of truth shall read, elk man and mother son, take heed. When at a drink you are inclined, or cutty sarks run in your mind, think. You may buy the joys o'er dear. Remember Thomas Shanter's mare.